Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Major Sweet Tooth, and today we will be making pineapple upside down cake. Usually, my dad makes this for holidays, and he makes it from a box, but today I'm making it from scratch. So, I'm making the cake from scratch, of course, because I always do that. So for today's cake ingredients, you will need 1 and 1 fourth cups of cake flour, 1 and 2 fourths cups of regular flour, 2 sticks of unsalted softened butter, 3 eggs and 1 egg yolk, 1 and a half cups of sugar, 1 cup of pineapple juice, and 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Also, you will need 3 fourths cups of oil. For your base of your cake, which will be the top of your cakes once we flip it over, it will be 1 can of crushed pineapples, maraschino cherries, 1 stick of melted unsalted butter, and 2 thirds cups of brown sugar. So we're going to start with our dry ingredients. So, in this bowl I have my cake flour and my regular flour. I'm going to dump this in here. Okay. And now we're going to add in our white sugar. And then we're going to add in our one teaspoon of baking powder. Just give this a little whisk. And then we'll start with our wet ingredients. So put this off to the side for now, and let's get a bigger bowl. So now we're going to add in our softened butter in the bowl. Okay. And next, we will add in our eggs. So again, this is three eggs and one egg yolk. So now we're going to mix together our butter and our eggs with our hand mixer until it's well combined. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to add in our oil. And then we're going to gradually add our pineapple juice in and while mixing our ingredients on low speed. And then you can turn up the speed as we go. Don't do what I just did. Okay, so now we are going to fold in our dry ingredients to our white ingredients. And we can add in the rest of our flour and baking powder. So I'm actually using crushed pineapples instead of your typical ring of pineapples because you'll get a taste of pineapple in every bite. And it, I like it better. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to mix this with our hand mixer and then we're going to put this off to the side. side and it should look like this so now we are going to start with our base of our cake so all you need for this is brown light brown sugar and some butter so we're gonna melt that into a bowl and then we are going to layer that on this 9 by 13 pan and then we're gonna go from there also preheat your oven to 350 which I forgot to do so make sure you do that Okay, so we're going to put in our light brown sugar in this bowl. And then 
We're gonna put in our butter. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Just for maybe a good 10 seconds in the microwave. So I put this in the microwave. Just wanted to make sure that all the sugar is melted and it should look like this. It's really nice and silky. So I'm going to grease the sides of my pan. Just to make sure that the cake doesn't stick because that's not what we want. So just grease the edges, you know, I need a lot of butter. So I greased my pan and I just made, and I did that because I don't want our cake to stick to this pan when we try to flip it over. So now that we've done that, we're going to put our brown sugar and butter mixture in the pan, spread it out evenly. Okay, and now just spread it out evenly. And when we flip this over, it's going to give it, this cake a really nice glaze on the top of it. So I put my butter and my brown sugar mixture in the pan. This is what it should look like. Make sure it's even. And now we're going to add our crushed pineapple. It's right here. So I'm just going to take a couple chunks and I'm going to spread it out evenly. And again, I like using crushed pineapples because you get a bite of, you get a taste of pineapple in every bite. So I ended up having to use a little bit more pineapple because it's, it didn't cover the glaze that we put on this cake, I mean on the bottom of this pan. But I'm just doing that right now. You can always spread it out afterwards. So usually my dad would make this from a box and I liked it a lot, but I think this cake will be a bit better because I'm making it from scratch. But I really like the combination of the brown sugar and the cake on top of it because it gives the brown sugar is a nice glaze, and then you have the actual cake itself. So that's good. And now we're gonna add our cherries. So you just want to spread them out evenly, like so. And you can always add a little bit more later on. Just want to see how much will fit in here. I love these cherries. They're better than actual cherries. I don't know why. But they do stain your hands a bit. And then after this, we're going to um, put our cake batter on top of this, and we're going to bake it. And you'll know when it's done when um, it's a golden brown on the top. Or you can put a toothpick in the center, and if nothing comes out, and if it comes out clean, then you know it's done. So, just gonna mix this once more, making sure that all the dry ingredients are mixed into the wet ingredients, and then we'll put this over. Right. It's a really easy recipe too for the summer because pineapple is a tropical fruit. And then just level it out with a rubber spatula. And then we'll put it in the oven. So the cake is done, I, um, I stuck a toothpick in the center but it came out clean and I'm going to take it out of the oven. So we're going to let this cool for 5 minutes and we want to do that because we want to make sure that all the sugars get a chance to settle before we flip it over because if we flip it over too early it's not going to turn out well. So just let it um, chill for 5 minutes and then we'll flip it over. So we let this rest for 5 minutes and now we're going to flip this. Make sure that if you are a kid, please ask a parent or guardian because this pan is extremely hot still. So just make sure that you ask someone to help you that is older than you, of course. So, 
put another pin over it. Okay. And then we're going to flip it over. flipped it. It smells good. It looks really good. And I want to eat it. So I just flipped this. It looks really good. It smells great. I like the smell of the pineapple and the brown sugar and the butter made a nice glaze on top of it. But um, we left this in the oven for um, 35 minutes and we preheated the oven at 350 if you forgot. But we, that's the time period that, would, that it was in there for. So this smells really good. This looks good and I can't wait to try it. But Chef always has to taste the work, so I'm going to cut myself a slice. Moment of truth. Mm. It's good. The cake is really nice and fluffy. I get the taste of the pineapple in every bite, and I like the the nice brown sugar glaze that's on top of it. I'm not sharing this with anyone. So during the holidays, my dad would make this from a box, and it was good, but I like my recipe better because I made it from scratch. So this tastes really good again, and if you saw this video, I hope you liked it. Make sure to comment down below if you tried it. Click the like button and subscribe.